Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris over at Dixieland Farm, and uh, I don't know, I, some of you probably new to the channel, but there's uh, the homemade arcade that I built, oh jeez, more than 15 years. Yeah, I think it's, or it's been 15 years. <clears throat> how often do you play it? You see the dust on it? That's how often I play it. It's almost never. Last video I did, I was landing in Savannah in X-Plane, and the frame rate dropped considerably so much so that it was hard to control the plane and uh you know people oh that's an that's an excuse excuse that's not that's not real but when we looked at the playback you can see the plane go eh, plunk. so like so much was happening and uh i'm like all right so my graphics card needs to be replaced uh my graphics card is the 1660 nvidia uh and it's long in the tooth at this point it's time to upgrade and even then you know i mean it was just enough for X-Plane. It turns out, no, it was that beta. <laughs> the beta 5 was not uh, optimized for something very specific for NVIDIA cards. So some people would have problems, some people wouldn't. Uh, but I had already placed the order. And also I had been looking at graphics cards for you know a good year uh, to upgrade. I had upgraded the computer. I didn't have money to do them both at the same time. And I knew the graphics card was coming. So I'd ordered the graphics card. I said to Marissa, Hey, I'm going to order a graphics card. She said, you do whatever you need to do. So that's the kind of wife you need, by the way. So I did. And, uh, I still am not, uh, uh, extravagant when I buy things for myself. So I landed on the 4060 TI. Uh, part of the problem is if you look at the internet and you talk to computer geeks, uh, they have very strong opinions, and <laughs> their opinions uh, are, it's hard to filter through the noise. So everyone will tell you that this card is garbage, that don't buy that card. You'll have, you'll hate yourself, you'll hate the world. It's, it's trash. But compared to the 1660, it's a wonderful card. So there are other considerations too. Flight simming, like you need 30 frames a second Ideally, that's where you want to be. You know, 20, you could get by with slightly above 20, but 30 is good enough. And anything above that is great, but it's not necessary. Opposed to shooters. Shooters, you need all the frames a second you can get. So if you're trying to, you know, play online and get somebody, you need to have, one, an internet speed that's incredibly fast, and you need uh, frames per second. So that way, that fraction of a second can help you. You don't need that with flight simming. So anybody who plays games and has advice about graphics cards are going to be coming from that area. Uh, you know, oh, for just an extra three hundred dollars. Well, you mean almost double the price, and then even that, they, you know, no, that's still not good. You need to spend twelve hundred dollars. But you know, I don't. Then this is all I do. I don't need any more than that. And also, the forty sixty is roughly the same quality as the thirty seventy. And you'll see a lot of advice is, oh, you should just buy the thirty seventy. Now, it is true that the thirty seventy had a slightly faster um, RAM memory, but also not applicable to this really. So this card was three hundred and seventy dollars uh, shipped tax, four hundred bucks, four hundred bucks for this card. And this card uh, is, I think, double the speed of what I had. Let's take a look at the numbers. Okay, so you looked at the numbers, 
practically, I just went into a plane in X plane, and you'll see the video coming up uh, where the frame rate was like almost 80. I've never had 80 frames a second. The best I've ever had was 45 to 50, maybe 60. So this guy here, the 1660, baby, you had a good run. I really appreciate that you got me so much joy over the years. I've certainly got your money's worth out of you um, because it was three, four years I think I had this card during the pandemic. You know, I had upgraded. It's just not strong enough anymore for what X-Plane needs, which is certainly they gave us a warning. They said you're going to need a better X, uh, video card, and they were right. So I've got an 8-gig card uh, that's probably enough. Some will, you know, online, no, it's not enough. Well, it's probably enough. And enough cores and enough everything. And also the thing that they don't talk about is energy and speed. It, it, that card uses less power uh, than a higher end card, which I don't need in this particular case because I'm not doing VR and I'm not doing um, anything above 1080. If 1440, it's going to be okay. 4K, this is not the card for you. But I don't even have 4K monitors and I don't plan on having 4K monitors. I I could barely see as it is. Uh, you know, five years from now, it might be different. And five years from now, this card would be way out of date anyway. So this card is more than good. And uh, another benefit is that other card, the 1660, the fans would go. <laughs> it would need to cool down because I was melting, you know, using everything it could. This card, the fans never kicked on. It was just dead quiet in here. What a wonderful extra bonus. Happy with my purchase. And also, just I guess this whole point of this video is weigh these opinions look at specs but weigh these opinions with a grain of salt because uh, they're not looking out for your interest they're looking out for i don't know gamer incel <laughs> you know angry male culture for some reason and just shitting on anybody who, who doesn't uh, agree or buy the best which is there you go Sound familiar? Sure. It's the internet. Of course it sounds familiar. All right, everybody. Dixon Farm, everybody. Take care.